Hi everyone, in today's video we will discuss the basic structure of financial model. Initially we will start with three sheets only. Which are input, calculation, and output. The input sheet is already created as it was the part of case study. So we need to focus on calculation and output sheet. Let's create a new sheet and name it as calculation. Generally, we leave first three columns for our headers and navigation. Let's resize them for serial numbers. In terms of sheet structure we require few line items like, period number, start date of period, and date of period. Depend on the case-to-case -case basis, we may require to add other line items like number of days in a period and year number or, financial year. Generally, we leave 5 to 6 columns for our inputs. The idea is to have all the inputs in same place, so that we can easily tr trace and review our formula. So start with first line item which is period number. The period number is simple count of timeline that we use in our model. Second line item is start date of period. The first start date will be linked to our input. To arrive at end date of period, we use the formula known as EO month, with months as zero. The second start date will be previous end date plus one, and formula of end date will be same as, previous cell. Let's copy these formula till the model's timeline is drawn. Now it's the time to formatting these data. We will use the fill similar to the one that is used in case study. And text color will be white. In terms of formatting we will use Arial Narrow with size at 10. Now, copy the sheets and name it as output. The idea is to create both the sheets in same line so that they have numbers of same period, in same columns. Hope you like this video, stay connected for other videos.